when you look at the horses uh, that were in there, um, you know, that came in, most of them came in, some had run five or six horses had run in the Derby and had that five weeks to prepare to try to take Justify down and thwart his bid to win the Triple Crown. Gronkowski had a longer layoff, ran second. Hawkberg, who was eighth in the Derby, seventh, eighth in the Derby, ran third, ran a credible race. They didn't run great races, that's obvious, because Justify was able to win the Triple Crown. But I think what people are missing is, is that small little attention to detail that those horses actually ran pretty well, but Justify was a monster and Godzilla broke you know breathed his fire and destroyed everything in every town that he visited during the Triple Crown series and yet this horse is being shortchanged not only for that but he's being also um, basically roasted and, and 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 castrated and castigated for uh, the the weak efforts of the horses as I said before after the Triple Crown for being retired and we all know it was a letdown uh, it, it, you know if someone were to say that when the triple a horse wins the Triple Crown and they don't race afterwards they're not disappointed well that's probably not even that's non-existent you know I, I think that all of us would think that it was a letdown but he's still six for six he's a Triple Crown winner he won what's the most difficult thing to do for a thoroughbred. You know, Matt Bernier, uh, Bernier basically said that these horses are teenagers. But as the late, great Jim McKay said, that's the Triple Crown. Three races in five weeks at varying distances at different racetracks running against similar and new and fresh opposition. You got fresh horses, you got tired horses. You have to deal with all that. And Justify dealt with a lot of fresh horses that could have easily taken him down. If he were any lesser of a horse, he would have lost that race. And we've seen similar fields where people thought the Derby and Preakness winner was far superior to the opposition they got beat. So that's one of the things that people are looking at and they're diminishing the triple crown and trying to say well uh, accelerate beat better horses uh, in the breeders cup classic when we know that by and large it is a race that theoretically from top to bottom has better horses but it is not unconditionally a better race and even if that's not completely true historically in 2018 it was very interesting that this breeders cup classic came up weak the three-year-olds did not run particularly well yet it's interesting people are ignoring that fact when justify crossed the finish line excuse me accelerate crossed the finish line first in the Breeders' Cup Classic that that was a high-end uh, grade one win to go along with his other four grade one victories when that's really not the case. If the three-year-olds were bad when Justify beat them, how come they're better when Accelerate beat them? We know that those horses did not improve, so by the time Accelerate got his arms and got his claws on these three-year-olds, they were worse off than they were when Justify beat him in the Triple Crown. So how can you say that Accelerate's Breeders' Cup Classic is a more is a higher quality win or it goes it's it's stronger in the rpi than justify winning and beating some of those same horses in the triple crown you can't say that even though thunder snow and gunavera they're nice horses by no means are they superstars so they was this was not a field laden with with um loaded with superstars like it was 20 years ago at churchill downs when you had silver charm skip away gentlemen coronado's quest swain touch gold uh and and the winner himself awesome again this this paled in comparison this this was just like you know this was the jv team of horses running in the breeders cup classic and i find it interesting that people are leaving out that accelerate beat some of those those same bad three-year-olds that Justify ran against. So what are you trying to say, that that opposition was stronger at the end of the year when we know that it wasn't? And we know that, you know, being parked out in California when destroying uh, and dominating the competition out there, the older horses weren't particularly good. So you can't say that Accelerate ran against stronger competition and that Justify, that then Justify did. You cannot say that. And that's what's being said. The facts are being distorted. Things are being... Um, you know, are being, you know, made to be science fiction uh, has become science fact. And that's where the problem is. And so Accelerate deserves a lot of credit for having the year that he had. But he, too, like Justify, faced weak opposition. And where Justify not only gets the edge, he, he's horse of the year the minute he crossed the finish line first to win the Triple Crown because of the difficulty in winning it and doing it as an unraced two-year-old and being undefeated like Seattle. So that's number one. But number two is, is that... You know, again, you know, the the quality of the performances, even if this wasn't a great group of, of three-year-olds, was a little bit better. And that's where Justify also wins points. You can't say, you know, his competition was actually a little bit better, even if you're not enthralled 
with the level of how these horses perform. They perform well in the Triple Crown. Now, afterwards, that's something to be debated, and that's where Matt Bernier and some of these other guys, and I hate to call out Matt because I love his show and I love the guy, but he, amongst uh, everyone else, has been lumping in the lackluster performances of the three-year-olds after the Triple Crown to use it as a arguing point, as a lightning rod to say that Justify didn't beat anyone and Accelerate ran against better horses, and that's just completely untrue. And that's only true if you believe Accelerate is Horse of the Year. And so that's where the problem is. And I say that Justify uh, is your Horse of the Year. It shouldn't even be close, but people are going to make it interesting because people don't have anything better to do. There's just some years where you don't have to overthink these things. And I think that's what's happened here. So, uh, again, you know, Accelerate, you know, in any other year with five grade one wins would be Horse of the Year. But this isn't any other year. This is a Triple Crown uh, year. This is a year in which a horse won the Triple Crown and won it in a very unique way, breaking a lot of trends, bucking a lot of traditions, and, and, and breaking down a lot of barriers and, and unwritten rules. So when it comes to Horse of the Year, all I have to say is that when it comes to awarding that, uh, it only goes to one horse, and his name is Justify. He's just awesome! Justify has won the Kentucky Derby! Justify! He's unstoppable! He won the Preakness! He's just crazy.